Hey guys, welcome back to the React Native course. In this video, we are going to talk about pressable component in React Native. So let's understand. So what is the use of pressable component? So basically, pressable component is used to add a on press event somewhere in a button or text. So we have already a button or touchable opacity. Then what is the need of pressable component? This question come up in your mind, right? So the principal component need is that let's suppose you want to perform some certain exercise like you have a text and you want to perform uh, some uh, like you know on pace on long press you know and that thing is given by the principal component only not by the touchable opacity so we'll check we will see that all the events of the principal component and we will style this so let me show you what we're gonna uh, learn in this session basically basically we are going to create a one text okay and after that we're gonna have a one pressable pressable component has some props called on press on press the second is called on press in and the third one is called on press out and we have another even called on long press and that is only in the on the pressable component okay so if you see that if i click on button press okay so it and if i you know if I uh, you know do a long press so it will uh, create long press and so on so let's see how we can do it quickly okay so I'm going to remove it the whole code okay and doing it from the scratch okay so I'm going to type R and F E S okay so you can see that we can see your app there okay now let me add a style to the container quickly styles dot uh, container and after that uh, let style the container flex as a one justify content center and the align items align items as a center okay so you can see that the item get into the center okay now after that as we have learned about like we have to import the pressable component so i imported the pressable component from the react native okay and we can you know add anywhere like whatever place we want inside the view inside the text that's up to you so i'm going to click uh, add a button here like text as a button and style as a style dot and adding a one style button text okay so let's style this quickly and it should feel like a button so font size will be 20 uh, background color will be blue and the color will be white and we can't see the any okay we can see the changes now after that we're gonna give some padding padding as a 20 so we have defined the padding as a 20 and let's add the padding as a uh, yeah 20 will looks good okay let's add some border radius as a 10 maybe let's see so you can see that it's looking like a button but it's not so well so add some padding add some font size in case the font size as a 30 maybe somehow it's gonna look and let's add a in case of font weight a font weight as a 200 uh, it's too uh, I think it should have a value 600 maybe I think let's give it 600 okay let's remove it I don't want I don't want a font weight property for now okay now we have created one button okay and let's add uh, some event okay on press so we have on press event so whenever we press on the event so that event will trigger okay so let me add a console.log on press triggered okay so if i see you show you the console and whenever we click on the button let me reload the app okay now if i click on button so you can see that on press triggered awesome now there's two things two, two props also called on press in like when you are in like you know when you started clicking and we started clicking out that time of time and um, we have to also a function like on press in triggered okay triggered and if i click again button so you can see that the first function is triggering on press trigger and after that we have on press is triggering and on press out which will you know trigger in the last so let me add a console on press out trigger and let's click on button so you can see that on press out trigger is consoling okay and there's another thing called on press on long press 
okay and which is used for the long press like what is the need of long press so you can see that in some apps or some animation when we click on long press at that time of time some ta certain task will perform that's why we have a props called on long press and let's add a console here a uh, long press and if i click on button so you can see that now let's uh, you know add a one state and we will change the button text as the button state trigger as the button props change so I'm going to use button text set button text and by default user state will be click me okay now instead of like having a button let's replace with a button text okay so you can see that click me now whenever user click on on face so I'm going to update the uh, button praised okay now let's click on this button press so you can see that the value of the button gets changed okay now let's also do one thing now now when a user do long press uh, set button text value will be long press detected detected okay now if I click on this long press detected awesome now let's add a you know on press in set button text is a button in button out okay let's click so you can see the first button in button out I, I don't I don't need a button in button out it's not looking well so yeah let's click on button press and when we do long press so you can see the long press detected I think yeah that's all in this video uh, about the pressable component so in short simpler what like what is the need of pressable component let's suppose you have a text or view and we want to add a, some you know click event or press event so that's why we use pressable component we have multiple props on press on press in on press out and on long press which you can use on your business logic i think that's all in this video see you guys in the next video uh please let me know if you guys have any question and yeah thank you bye